Okay, estimating quotients with two-digit divisors. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my problem as a fraction. 713 divided by 23 approximately equals, I'm going to round 23 to 20. And then I'm going to look at my numerator. Two can't go into seven easily, so I want to round to either up to 800 or down to 600. 800 is a little bit closer to 713 than 600 is. So now I need to decompose my denominator. I'm gonna, 20 is the same thing as 4 times 5. And I want to decompose my numerator now so that I can hopefully get a give factor of 4 or 5. Mm, I can go to 4 times 200. Now I have an equivalent form of 1 right here. And I am left with 200 times 1, which is 200, divided by 5 times 1, which is 5. All right, 5 can't decompose any further because it's a prime number. So now I want to decompose 200. So ideally, I would have a factor of 5 there. But say nothing, I can't think of 5 times what equals 200. I can just put decompose 200 in a way that does come to mind for me. Say 2 times 100. I don't have a factor of 5 in my numerator yet, but I can decompose 100 further. 2 is a prime number, so it's not going to decompose. I know that 20 times 5 is 100, and now I have my equivalent form of 1. So I have 2 times 20 times 1 over 1. Well, 2 times 20 is 40, and over 1 makes it 40 whole. Um, say up here... You had, there's, an, there's other ways to have done this. Say I already knew that 4 times 5 is 20, and I could just add a 0 to make it 200. So then I could do 5 times 40, and I have my equivalent form of 1 right away. 40 times 1 is 4. 40, I'm sorry, 40 times 1 is 40, and then over 1 just makes it 40. So there's different ways to decompose these numbers to get the same, you get the same estimate in the end. You might be asking yourself, why are we doing this? This is so confusing for my student. Um, and I can understand why you're thinking that. But this is going to come in handy. We're, they're going to need to know how to do this, this whole equivalent form of 1 and the factoring um, when we get to prime numbers, when we get to fractions. So we're trying to introduce these concepts now to make it easier later.